Thank you. Any further brief ministerial statements? Minister for Sport and Recreation. Madam Deputy Speaker, Madam Deputy Speaker, earlier this week I met with Andrew Dimitriou, the CEO of the AFL, at which time we discussed the AFL Indigenous Round taking place this week. Following the meeting, I had the opportunity to meet with a very impressive young man, Stephen Hill from the Fremantle Dockers, who, like many of his peers in the AFL, is a tremendous role model for young Indigenous people. During my discussions with Mr Dimitriou, I took the opportunity to update him on how the Liberal National Government's kids sport program was directly increasing the rate of Indigenous participation in sport across our community. Since the inception of kids sport program, 3,455 Indigenous kids have received a total of 4,079 vouchers to enrol in either a summer or winter sport. To put some context around the figure, 4,079 vouchers equates to over $544,000 directly invested in engaging young Indigenous people in sporting clubs across WA. Of that number, 2,594 vouchers have been redeemed for boys and 1,530 for girls. While there is some disparity in these figures, the data serves to inform us where we need to invest more resourcing, and we will continue in our efforts to engage more Indigenous girls in sport. I'm heartened, however, that some 800 vouchers have been redeemed through netball clubs, and I applaud Netball WA for the work they are doing to create player pathways for Indigenous athletes, athletes into mainstream competitions, academies and programs. Importantly, 2,167 of these vouchers were redeemed by young Indigenous kids who haven't previously been registered with a sporting club. If we look at Australian football in isolation, 1,765 Indigenous kids have received over 2,000 vouchers, a great number which demonstrates these enrolments aren't one-offs. The kids are coming back to play consecutive seasons. And while the majority of these have gone to boys, thanks to kids sport, there are also 113 Indigenous girls kicking footies around the ovals of their respective football clubs. And once again, more than half of these kids have not previously been registered with a club. Member for Armidale uh, will be delighted to learn that the Armidale Junior Football Club now has 129 new Indigenous players due to kids sport. And there are 119 young Indigenous kids playing football in Albany thanks to this program. Mr Speaker, I could go into more detail about these numbers, but rather than do so here, I will circulate an update of the program and its impact on respective electorates to all members. I'd like to acknowledge the work the AFL, among other sports, has undertaken to promote the significant contribution Indigenous sports people have made to our community. As a great lover of sport, I may be biased, but I see firsthand the role sport plays in breaking down the barriers in our communities. I'm proud to be a member of a government that has been prepared to make such a considerable investment through sport in the future of our young people. I look forward to continuing to update the House on the progress of the Kids Sport Program and the impact it's having across Western Australia.